Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anna Manuel with Big Fox News. An 11-year-old boy is safe tonight after going missing Tuesday night. Chemung County deputies say the child was reported missing around 6.30 yesterday, just after he was in a wooded area with his family near their property on Elston Hill Road. Well, the boy said he wanted to go home. When the family went back 10 minutes later, they realized he wasn't there. Police believe he got turned around and wound up lost in the woods. They finally found him around 1230 in the morning. Police say he was sitting on the side of a trail on a log. He was wet. He was cold, scared, but safe and unharmed. Well, a freight train derailment in New Windsor ends with a locomotive across a railway. The train, which was traveling from New York to Georgia, came off the tracks yesterday afternoon. Two injuries were reported as a result of the 17 car derailment. Hazmat crews, they were called to the scene as the train engine was leaking diesel fuel. Well, women stand united in the city of brotherly love to mark a day without women. Dozens of teachers and supporters rallying in the streets of Philadelphia and, of course, similar scenes playing out all across the nation. This to draw attention to the critical role of women in society. Members of the Philadelphia Federation of Teachers held a mock strike to demand a contract after five years without any pay raise. Organizers say the, quote, a day without women event encourages participants to skip work or school and avoid in-store and online shopping. I think this is a, this is a big year. For, for us women and um, we need to prove that we are a big part of this economy and we're a big part um, of our nation. So I'm, I'm glad that we can stand together today and, and speak on behalf of that. A day without women coincides with International Women's Day. Well, we had above average temps today, but it was windy and that's all going to change by the end of the week. Meteorologist Kim Walker tells us about colder temperatures coming our way and if we can expect any snow in her Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tears forecast from Big Fox. Well, good evening, everyone. It's been a pretty nice day out there. We did see, though, a lot of winds move through the area. We did have that wind advisory, and it will be in effect until midnight. But by tomorrow, we will continue with the breezy conditions. It will be mostly sunny, cooler, with light rain developing late in the day, and the possibility of snow overnight into Friday. So it will be cloudy and windy with scattered snow showers for your Friday. And then over the weekend, I think we'll start to dry out, partly sunny, and it will be a little bit drier but it's going to be much colder. Today, though, temperatures did climb up into the 50s, 57 for Elmira, 53 degrees in Watkins Glen, 52 in Corning, and in Mansfield, it was 52 degrees. We do have another cold front that will swing through behind it. We are going to see much colder air filter in, so tomorrow will be a little bit cooler. And again, we do have chances of showers as we make our way late into Thursday. But tonight, though, it's going to be pretty cold out there. It's going to continue to be windy, mostly cloudy, temperatures dropping down to around 27 degrees. Tomorrow, cooler than today with a high around 47 degrees, mostly cloudy, and it will be breezy with the winds coming from the west at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then as we make our way into Friday, we do have chances of snow showers scattered across the area. Temperatures only climbing up to around 35 degrees. And from there, we drop down to around 10 degrees. And then by Saturday, we could see a few snow showers early in the day, but then some sunshine and breezy conditions uh, toward the afternoon. But look at those highs only in the 20s over the weekend. Overnight lows could be single digits and then more snow showers will be possible on Monday and Tuesday. So it looks like we will see a return to winter by the end of the weekend into the weekend with those cold temperatures and also with the snow. But today it was pretty mild. Tomorrow is not going to be all that bad, a little bit colder with a high around 47 degrees. But yeah, get ready for winter to come back to our area. It is coming in a big, big way. It sure is. But we're going to enjoy when spring arrives that much more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Well, some new additions making their big debut at a Washington Zoo. Three month old otter pups. They were released into their outdoor exhibit at the Woodland Park Zoo. 
We're told they were learning how to swim, eat fish, and safely navigate the outdoor area. But for now, all this is still under the watchful eyes of Mom, Pop, mm. and their three older sisters. You can just take a look at them Aww. again. They're really cute. They're fun to watch, too. It's funny that, you know, they're called pups because I think they do kind of have a fun personality. And they bark a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us for Big Fox News tonight. Stay tuned for Mike and Molly.